So, for the last week or so, it seems, I've been doing very little other than working and reading. I haven't even been playing video games more than maybe an hour or so a day. So, instead of talking about video games, I'm going to start talking about some different, like, books that are inspired by games. To be clear, I'm not talking about games that are, are books that are ripping off games. No, these are inspired by it, and I can clearly see which ones, which games these things are inspired by. First one I'm going to talk about is nearly a ripoff, however, so bear that in mind. Starting off, we're going to go with a game called I Have a Mansion in a Post-Apocalyptic World. This one, well, this one is, it's pretty much Fallout set in China. It's a Wujia novel, kind of a Chinese style, I guess. It seems to have some, it doesn't really have any cultivation, really, that I can tell, like, off of the surface, even in the first hundred chapters, at least. But it does have a lot of, um... Just kind of the ver the feel of a Chinese novel. It's nice. It's interesting. I just wish they would stay in the apocalypse more because he keeps transferring between two worlds, and the, his adventures in the real world just kind of suck. But it's rip off of Fallout. Fallout parts good. Original parts not so good. Read it. You might like it. But you might not. I dropped it after about a hundred chapters. The second book that I'm going to talk about is called The Charm of Soul Pets. This one is clearly based off of Pokemon, but at the same time it has a really ni nice twist on it, where it shows a kind of cultivation, or Chinese kind of not cultivation novel style stuff going on in it. So you see things, so you have levels both in the pets, in their like rankings, there's like, mon there's like a monarch, warrior... Or warrior, warrior, then monarch, and then some all, some all else, or commander in between there somewhere. Don't remember specifically right now. I'm kind of, but uh, what it does have, and then it has like soul teacher, soul master for the trainer as well, so they get stronger too, and they can use more pets, and it's interesting. It's really cool, especially, and the pets really resemble Pokemon. Like, the main main one is a fire fox that grows nine tails. Uh, and then they have other ones, like this giant beetle thing, or beetle rhinoceros, and... <sighs> Night Thunder Dream Beast. Really cool, interesting pets that they have in there. And they do feel like Pokemon, really. I mean, not as cutesy as Pokemon is, because this is a very much more adult novel. But it does have a, uh, just the aesthetic, really, of Pokemon. The idea of Pokemon with a mat with a big twist is all. And the final book that I'm going to talk about is Tamer. This is the only book that is a Western title. And this one is clearly, this one's called Tamer King of Dinosaurs. Starts with a guy, human, sn snatched up off of Earth and thrown onto an alien planet full of dinosaurs and other, al and other aliens from different worlds that were thrown onto this dinosaur planet too. And this is a really cool story. I mean, and it really it's a big spin on the game Ark Survival Evolved is what it feels like to me. There's crafting, there's taming dinosaurs, there's a lot of uh, village type orientation with your with all the characters. It's a fun novel. Gotta give it to Michael Scott Earl for his just his amazing world building. Right now, I wouldn't link the, a link to the novel on Kindle, but right now, as of filming this. Um, Kindle's just kind of being evil and not letting Michael uh, Scott, MSE for, post his books, and they're all just been torn down. Audiobooks, though, 
are up. So I will post a link to the first novel audiobook down here, down in the description. Really, check it out. It is worth the listen. Even if you're like me and you prefer reading, just listen to it. It's worth it. I guarantee you by the time that this all gets fixed out and his new, and his and the next hammer book comes out on Kindle and you can read it yourself, you'll be hopelessly addicted to this series. It's awesome.